A 25-year-old man from Gaines Township is behind bars tonight facing murder charges in connection with the death of a four-year-old boy. 24-hour news 8 Sarah Hurwitz is live in Grand Rapids with the latest on this investigation and what neighbors are saying. Sarah? Well, Ellis Ortiz is locked up here tonight at the Kent County Jail, and this is not the first time that police have been to the house where that little boy was found earlier this morning. In fact, we're told that police have been here for multiple calls to that house over the last three years. No one home tonight where it all happened this morning in Gaines Township, but still signs of kids. For this to happen, yeah, it takes us because, you know, we're, we fear every day with like with our little ones. Neighbors living in a mobile home park are on edge and extremely disturbed tonight. After 25-year-old Ellis Ortiz, pictured here in a mugshot from 2013, was arrested on murder charges and the death of a little boy. The Kent County Sheriff's Department says that he was watching seven kids this morning who live here at this house on Green Meadow Street Southeast. Deputies received a call about a four-year-old who was not breathing. They rushed him to the hospital and tried reviving him, but he later died. There's various um, things that I'm not ready to release yet, but various things that were concerning to us and that we later found out at the hospital, and which led us to further investigate. Captain Bruce Ivey says Ortiz is not the father of the four-year-old boy. He's the mother's boyfriend, and they're both living at this home with several children, some of whom are his. We've been out there multiple times. Um, and guesstimate over the last probably three years, I believe several domestics, um, CPS related calls. When I talk to him, he never ever strike me as the kind of guy that maybe been in trouble, maybe in the past, you know, he's got tattoos, stuff like that. I do too, get tattoo stuff, but he didn't strike me as the kind of guy that would uh, do anything like hurt a kid. Neighbors are not convinced that Ortiz was a bad father or guardian or violent with kids, but police say there's more that they're not releasing that led to those murder charges. And CPS is involved in this case, but it's unclear at this point if the other children have been taken into custody. And we are told that our Ortiz will be formally charged tomorrow. Reporting live in Grand Rapids tonight, Sarah Hurwitz, 24 Hour News 8.